I, let's talk about Lulu's costume because <laughs> it is such like, and we did not agree. No, we didn't agree. But I, I, I love it for being just like as over the top as it is. It was made for people who love to cosplay. <laughs> like, yes, that's true. <laughs> like she, I mean, it's it's very boobtacular, but also just like belts everywhere, and it's it, it's such a ridiculous. But I think it still looks cool. Um, what were your thoughts on it? I think my only real issue with it is I don't really see the Japanese cultural connection that you see in other costumes in the game for the most part. Mm -hmm. The only other character I would say in the main party whose costume like I could not really picture in... I'm thinking like late feudal, early modern Japan. Like, you know, maybe 19th century Japan mm -hmm. um, into early 20th. The only character whose costume, besides Lulu, that I can't fathom in that world at all is Titus and that makes, that makes sense, sense. Yeah. Um, but her yeah I think you know from like <laughs> from the boobs up I actually think her costume do, could be Japanese yeah. but like it's just it just feels like it's tonally not consistent with everybody else I can see that and it's a really impractical garment <laughs> but for the most part when are Final Fantasy characters wearing practical well, garments and it makes sense that a mage wouldn't have a practical garment because right. you're not moving around much right you're not really in the line of fire yeah but, but, like, you know, as someone who's traveling through yeah. all the... At all, it looks like it's uncomfortable and probably really warm most of the time. I think this, this was a great first Final Fantasy for the PS2. Um, and I think it it looks really beautiful still, even and the update even more so. But I'm not... I usually don't care about graphics. I, I care about how well a game uses the hardware available. And I think... Final Fantasy X uses it basically, well. basically nails it. Yeah. yeah. Actually, as someone who has played the HD remake, I will say there are things I like and dislike about the graphics changes. Just, if you want to know what I dislike, just Google FF10 HD Waka. You'll, <laughs> you'll see. They, I will shortly after this. <laughs> they did a number on my bro Waka's face. The graphics in the HD remake, I don't feel, are really that much better to warrant buying a new game yeah um but yeah i mean having said that the original game i agree i think the graphics age really well mm -hmm. um and design in general is a pretty strong actually consistently very strong thing in final fantasy 10 except mm -hmm. for the modes of transportation i think it's a dumb looking airship in 10 it kind of is actually um, but and it, it feels like i i kind of wish they that we could have like had them warp back to what's the main the big town Luca um, the, the no the the um, Ye uh, Yevon's town like, yeah uh, Bavel <laughs> Bavel I wish they could have like warped back to B Yevonston <laughs> Yevonston <laughs> Yevonville <laughs> uh, I wish they could have warped back there instead or something instead of having to take an airship okay so sound and music the music itself I uh, though it's not my favorite of the Final Fantasies it's Excuse me, it's up there, and the, there are certain moments, like the moment, the moment that actually stands out the most to me, music-wise, is the fight against Unaleska, because it it feels different than the rest of the universe, but appropriate to what's going on. Yeah, I remember it has that like, like that alarmy, yeah. there's like an alarm sound at the yeah. beginning, and. And it feels appropriate to that battle because the moment when you realize you're going to actually fight her, you're, it's like actually unexpected. Yeah. Like you assume that they're not going to go along with the plan, but you don't realize like, oh, and the boss battle, if I remember correctly, like all that happens between that realization moment and the beginning of the fight proper is each member of the party having their little, you know, anime one liner moment yeah. before the fight starts. Um, but even like during that scene, there's the anime one liner stuff and there's all that static on the screen and the static sounds. And it's, it's, really unsettling and, and when you haven't seen that in the game and I think that's really effectively used at that moment that's my favorite yeah musical moment in the game and I like that that's the that it helps to make that moment feel like the true turning point for the party even though they've already at that point fought against the people in Bavel it like kind of helps to underscore the point that you know Yevon as an institution is kind of not a threat to the party anyway just because it's such a disaster and a shit show 
right now, like with Seymour and Micah's corrupt and all that shit. Like it makes you realize the true threat is actually something more existential and ethereal, um, which is scarier too in a mm. way. Um, yeah, I really like this soundtrack. Uh, I don't. It's it's also not probably my favorite Final Fantasy soundtrack, but and uh, I think that has to do with a lot of the most often repeated music is some of the game's weaker music. Yeah. Like the battle theme is kind of weak. The victory theme is really weak. <laughs> uh, um, the I think the boss theme gets a little bit repetitive for the most part, but a lot of the bigger moment music is really great. Like uh, when they're jumping off the airship in the wedding, mm -hmm. um, it just fits that moment really well. Or I, even though the final boss isn't the best final boss, the music for the final boss is really, it for you, Evan, is really cool. Um, I don't care for all the like hard rock music that they tried to add in because again, it really breaks up the Japanese tone. But uh, but it, it always does seem to have something to do with something from the past whenever it's in. Like when you're fighting Sin in Xanarkand at the very beginning of the game, it's silly, but it makes sense. Yeah. And most of the rest of the times that we hear, you know, electric guitars have to do with something that was that is that old, like. Unaleska or Jacked. Um, yeah, that, that's that. I, so I think it makes sense that it's there. Mm -hmm. And on the flip side of, I guess, overwrought, uh, emotionally overwrought music, um, this game I think also does one of the better jobs in the series of saving sentimental music for when it really counts and not overusing it. Like, you know, Suteki Dane in the kissing scene is a super sentimental song, but it feels less grating because they haven't really deployed that trick yeah. much up to that moment. Let's just get it out of the way. The The worst scene, voice acting-wise, is the laughing on the yeah. bridge scene. And But I think, really, there's, like, there's no way to convincingly laugh like that to match what the, right. what, what the characters' mouths were doing. Like, that's a poorly written scene. That's a poorly directed scene. Yeah. And the, the voice actors did the best they could with that. But that aside, the voice acting is, in general, not super strong. So I, I feel that this game gets a, a worse voice acting rap than it deserves. Not that I would call it a strong job overall, but I feel that, like, if you go down the line of characters, really, I think the only ones you can say are consistently shitty are Titus. Um, Kimari, I would say, is consistently shitty, but that also isn't writing. Thing. Yeah. Um, and Titus is kind of... Yuna has her moments, but I feel overall that she does well. Overall, she's fine. Um, and she fits the character. Yeah, and like, really, I can't... There's a few NPCs that are not great. Micah comes to mind. Yeah. Actually, you know, I think, I think I agree with you. Really, I think most of us who talk about the voice acting in the game are talking about that one awful yeah. scene. And well, Titus is bad overall. Then moving on to gameplay, uh, we didn't really have too many things to say about this. No. Um, aha, but there's one important thing that we should talk about. Is oh God, that, um, mini games. They are often the worst part of RPGs. And they are very much so the worst part of this game. <laughs> oh, that Blitzball is the worst. Um, but I think the gameplay in this, if not a little dull, is good. Yeah. I go back and forth thinking about how, how you can switch in and out of characters within a battle. Um, yeah. I, I go in and out between thinking I really like that or I really don't. In one, it's really nice that you know exactly what each character is good at, and you know, oh, that's yeah. that type of that type of monster. I should use this t this character to fight it. But there are also, like, I almost that almost makes it too easy. And I wish that you should. I, I wish that you would have to create your party in such a way that they should be able to handle anything without just needing, those three without without needing to swap anyone right. in. Right. Um. Well, I mean, on the the counter argument that the developers would probably have is on the sphere grid, you can make them whatever you want to be, but practically speaking, in the game, you can't. Um, at least not until the point where like you're at the final boss and you don't need to anymore anyway. Right. Yeah. Um, and actually, 
I, I, I know I'm in the minority when it comes to most players. I prefer to not be able to customize my character. I like my characters to be good at what they're good at. Right. And I like instead the strategy that comes in choosing who's going to go in my party for this mm-hmm. thing. Any final thoughts on anything? Final fantastic thoughts? <laughs> um, no, I mean, this is still, you know, this used to be my favorite Final Fantasy game. I'm not sure if it still is, but uh, it's definitely up there for me. You know, I, I watched a really good YouTube video once that was talking about what someone's first Final Fantasy game should be, and the creator of the video ended up saying that Final Fantasy X should be your first Final Fantasy you've not played. And I agree. Yeah. Like, it's probably the easiest Final Fantasy game. Probably, yeah. And it introduces you to mm. all of the types of things that Final Fantasy does and in, in a mostly pretty successful way. Yeah. And what's nice about it is it's at a point, you know, a lot of people, for, for people who are just picking up video games or Final Fantasy games today, a lot of them prioritize graphics more than we do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and for some of those old school Final Fantasies, you know, not only is the, can the graphics be a barrier, but there's lots of text which for some players, I actually prefer that. I, you know, a friend of mine said this recently, and I agree. He said he really thought Final Fantasy games screwed the pooch when they acted, added voice acting. Because mm-hmm. one of the best things about it was they give you this developed world, but since you're reading it, you can imagine the characters how you want them to be. Right. Um, and what I always say is that the best RPGs are like reading a good book. And it's later Final Fantasies and later RPGs in general turn into watching a good movie or a good anime. Right, it's an action movie that you're playing. Yeah. Which is, is not bad. Um, and many of them still have really good stories. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's a different level of connection when you are reading everything. Yeah. But having said that, I agree. I think this is a really good first Final Fantasy game. Yeah. Uh, especially because I think I, I think I read what you're talking about or, I, or the video I, I might have sent it to you maybe I don't remember yeah but I remember the point they made was that like as you say it's the most like the rest of the series but it's also a pretty good like middle ground point for the series so that if you play this and you go oh I really liked the graphics but I didn't love you know whatever oh I can go in more into the later games yeah. or if I liked the story a lot but I didn't love the voice acting you know I can yeah 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 it's a good litmus test yeah now, any final thoughts on the game? Ten out of ten. <laughs> not well. No, uh, not actually, we, we uh, so so let let's let's talk about the scores that we thought that we would give it. So I thought this game deserved a ninety-one percent, and I'm thinking actually uh, that maybe I was being a little harsh, but uh, yeah, that, I, I gave it a ninety-one percent. I gave it a ninety. And by tallying up our scores, this uh, the scores gave this game. In 83, which seems a little low, so I'm glad our points brought it up a little bit. The mm-hmm. average that it ends up being is an 88%. Still feels maybe a little low, but I'm yeah. I'm mostly pretty happy with 88 overall. 88 out of 100 is a pretty damn good score. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you think of each point as being a flaw, that yeah. means it's only got 12 flaws out of like 60 hours of gameplay or something. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that is pretty good. Um, And I do think it's important to bear this in the context of like the greater RPG um, and the, the the overall RPG dumb history. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like if you give this a 90, then what do you have to give games that are amazing, like six that are, yeah. you know, agreed upon masterpieces? Yeah. Um, or, you know. So yeah, I think that's a fair score. Yeah. All right. Well, so um, that's it for this one. Um, let us know if you have any other thoughts. Uh, if you w- Think anything is especially strong or weak about Final Fantasy X? Let us know if you would, if you, um, what you would like us to review next, because we've got a lot of other things in the works, and we'll, we've got some music stuff coming up at some point too. Um, and we should probably come up with a way to sign these off, but we never did when we were trying to be funny. So, bye, bye, bye guys. Stay frosty. We'll workshop that. We'll, we'll come up with something at some point. All right. <laughs> thanks, everybody. <laughs> our, our pretty obvious, you know, relate. Okay, I'll, I'll wait. I need food. This is my story. Vernacular, <laughs> um, post apocalyptic.
necrocropa hippopotamus. No, 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 that's I think that's exactly it. Yeah, well, and yeah, well, and yeah, well, and 